Hello guys, this is Saifuddin Ghanizada. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Tech for All. Today I will be showing you how to install Curio Control. But first, intro. Once again, welcome back guys. Before we start an installation, first we must know that what is Curio Control. Curio Control is a small business firewall. Also, you can use it as a proxy server. It is a treat management firewall that features intrusion prevention, content filtering, activity reporting, and bandwidth management. It also load balances between two internet links. Kirio Control is a Linux-based operating system which is developed in Linux. We'll be using VMware for the purpose of this installation. I will create a new virtual machine and I will use the recommended configuration of VMware. Here you have two options. Either you can choose to install from a CD room if you have inserted a CD or you can choose the ISO file. I will go with the CD. I have chosen the CD room but Curio Control is not detected by the VMware. It is not detected that which operating system we are going to install. No problem. We will select it here. As I said before that Curio Control is a Linux based operating system. So from this list I will select Linux and I will leave the version as it is. Click next. Here you can rename your virtual machine. I will rename it Curio Control and I will leave the location default. By default, it has chosen 20 GB of my hard drive to install the Curio Control. So I will select 10 GB of it. Click next. Here will be the specification of your VMware. The name is Curio Control. The location is default. It will be using a version 14 of VMware. The operating system is Ubuntu. Hard disk is 10 GB. It has taken 1 GB of my laptop RAM and it will use CD, USB controller, printer and sound card of my laptop. Okay, click on finish. For those guys who will be installing Hero Control on a physical server or on a desktop, you should follow me from this step. Here we will power on the machine and we will wait for the Hero Control to boot. It will take some time depending on the specification of your system. From here you can select the language. I will stick with English. Here you have to accept in order to proceed the installation. It is the license agreement. Press F8. Here, it is giving me a caution that all of the data on the hard drive will be lost if I continue the installation and you cannot install another operating system along with Curio Control. For me, it's not a problem because I am installing it in a virtual machine and I have specified a 10 GB amount of my hard disk for this one. It will only use that 10 GB. For me, it does not matter. But if you are using a physical server or a desktop, First, you have to take a backup of all your data and then you can proceed for the installation. Here it's showing me that I have to type 135 in order to continue and then press enter. Curio Control is now being installed. It will take some time, it depends on the specification of your system. For me, it might take uh, two minutes or three minutes.
Okay guys, the installation is completed. Kido controller is successfully installed. In order to continue, first remove the CD-ROM and then press enter. It is starting the Kiro control OS. As you can see guys, the installation is completed. It was very simple, wasn't it? If you have any questions, please comment down below. Also, please don't forget to like and also share it with your friends. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.